everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today, we're going to talk about how you're able to fully customize your home screens and your folders a little bit further than what you were able to do stock on your Samsung phone. So sometimes people wish that they could see more icons by looking at the folders right here. Maybe they wanted to see it like as a four by four instead of the three by three. Also, same thing here, you can notice that if you don't have the setup like I do, you're only gonna have like a three by three or three by four. It's a very limited space that you can see inside of the folders. And for me, because I put a lot of stuff inside of a folder, this is my everyday folder. These are things that I open up on a daily basis. Now, if I did not have what I, I set up, you know, turned on as, uh, it would just simply look just like this. So as you know, what yours looks like here, it's a three by four. It just kind of looks for me a little clunky, a little old fashioned, just because I am used to seeing so many more on this particular one screen. And there's a lot of wasted space in between. So what I was using is it's inside of Goodlock. And one thing that I do want you guys to know is that if you guys are outside of the country, uh, Goodlock is a region-based application. Uh, it's it's found inside of the Galaxy Store, and inside the Galaxy Store, you search for Goodlock. Goodlock gives you all these different modules. And Goodlock also was updated just the other day, but the unit that I'm using or the module that I'm using is called Home Up. So if you have the ability to download Goodlock, then you download Home Up, and inside of Home Up, this is where you can go into more further customizations of your home screen and folder. So for the home screen, you can go through and you can change your home screen further than what the normal stock options was. So for the home screen here, you can go up to like, you know, seven by seven if you want to. And the main option you had was when you press and held on your, on really any home screen there. And when you go inside of your settings, your home screen grid, uh, the main option was five by six. Now, if you did have your home up set up to something else, you'll see that icon on the very right hand side. So again, uh, five by six was the highest. You can do seven by seven if you want to. It's gonna make all the icons quite a bit smaller. So this is where you can go through you can change your home screen, your apps screen grid. You can play with it, set it up as you like. Uh, this layout here, the, the background blur control is actually a really cool thing to turn on. You can also loop your pages. So right now, you know, I only have these two pages right here and then also Samsung free on the right hand side. Um, but if I wanted to have these things loop back, you'd be able to do that with uh, with this option right here for loop pages. Now for folder, this is what I was showing you from before. You just go to folder grid and inside of the folder grid, my folder icons, I do like it as three by three. Four by four kind of gets a little small because it's that small little folder that you see on your home screen. So three by three is perfect for me. And then I just had to change my, my folder screen after you open the folder up, I need my folder screen to be larger. So you can do five by five if you want to for me, four by five was perfect. Now, one other thing that you can also do, so you can see here again, four by five, you know, it's a pretty good option there because of my folder. That means I can, I can hold 20 icons. So here's the other thing you can also do pop up folder. So with pop up folder, uh, you can go through, you can set it up on how you want it to look. You can change the background color. Uh, you can change your font color. So background color here is black. I can do like blue if I wanted to and black lettering. So black and white kind of looks good. You can do background transparency, background corners, things like that. Um, and so now it's just gonna be like this little pop-up option here. But again, this is even smaller than what it was from before. But if you're somebody who doesn't really use that many uh, applications, inside of a folder, this could be something that you may like. It's a small little pop-up screen, something very small coming up from where that folder is without it having to take the full entire screen. So that's just gonna be all the way up to you for your opinion on what you would like to use. You can you can uh, you know customize everything. If you don't wanna customize it for that little pop-up folder, then you can do this folder grid. And then this is what we look like right here. So that was pretty much it for today's video that you're able to change the way your folders look. You can also change the way your screen grid is and you can loop the pages. So it's a further customization than what you can do primarily stock. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe, subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. I got tons of soul on my true collective ball Famous, also famous, number one desirable Out of what I want, when I want, and how I want it Leave you with that one in the air, that's how I roll I got tons of soul on my